So today we're talking BB creams and tinted moisturisers and I've had so many requests over the past year or so to talk about um, BB creams and what they do and what I think about BB creams and that kind of thing. And first things first, what is a BB cream? I know I'm kind of totally late on the bandwagon with this because pretty much everybody knows but you'd be surprised I still do get questions asking what a BB cream is. A BB cream is basically a blemish balm and what that means is that it, it came originally from kind of Asia and Japan and that kind of thing and it was used just kind of to make their skin appear nicer and it's basically like an all-in-one product so it's meant to kind of even out your complexion, give you a little bit of coverage, give you sunscreen, give you skincare benefits, it's meant to be this kind of all-in-one amazing product but essentially it is just a glorified tinted moisturiser in my opinion. Now I haven't tried some of the super um, raved about BB creams like the Dr. Jart BB cream or the what's it called um, the Dior BB cream purely because I'm not a massive BB cream fan to warrant going out and purchasing those types of really expensive products because I'm not a massive BB cream fan so far I've only ever found one that I really like and that I will definitely definitely use and I'm just much more of a foundation person it doesn't have to necessarily mean that I like full coverage in my foundation but I like um, my skin to kind of look perfect and I haven't got the nicest skin in terms of kind of um, its evenness. So I haven't got kind of too much to cover up in terms of like acne and that kind of thing, but it's not very even and I do get quite red and that kind of thing. So I like to use something that gives me a little bit more coverage and BB creams don't really do that for me. But first of all, what's the difference between a BB cream and a tinted moisturiser, you're probably wondering. Well, a BB cream, um, as I said, has got these kind of different skincare benefits and I'm going to just get one here to show you. This is kind of like more of a traditional um, Asian BB cream and this is the Jinvara Green Tea Nude Cover BB Cream for all skin types. So as you can see, it looks like that and I'm going to just read you the back of this, so kind of the difference. It says... Um, natural and flawless coverage for all skin tones, non-greasy formula that provides a natural matte finish, spreads with nano fine texture, resulting in an even and natural look, um, supplies skin with essential nutrients, provides all day hydration, provides SPF 30 against UVA um, rays and UV, UV rays actually it just says, um, helps reduce the formation of lines. So as you can see, very, very high claims for that kind of thing. And it definitely kind of makes you think it sounds like a wonder product. This versus something like your average tinted moisturiser, this is the Wild About Beauty Sheer Glow Moisture Tint SPF 20. And this just is a tinted moisturiser. So the difference in the kind of texture and shades of them is quite interesting as well. I'm going to get a little bit of this one right here. The... Um, Wild About Beauty Moisturiser, this is in shade medium but it's very very orange so it doesn't match my skin that amazingly. But I'm going to show you the difference right here. So as you can see, this is the Wild About Beauty one, this is the Genvara one. I'm going to just blend the Wild About Beauty one into my skin first. And the texture of this is very very lightweight and it doesn't provide tremendous amount of coverage. It just kind of gives a little bit of a sheen. The Genvara one is very strange because it's very bitty. So it has these weird little kind of particles in it and once you rub it in, they disappear. But it's very, very um, whitening, which is something that I found a lot of the BB creams did. They made my skin look like it kind of had a bit of a white cast over it. I'm not sure if that's to do with the SPF content that a lot of them have because the Wild About Beauty one has SPF 20. But the finish of them is very, very different, as you can see. I don't know how well it's going to pick up, but once I've blended them in, you can't really tell. But over here, the more sheeny, kind of paler part is the BB cream. And then down here is the tinted moisturiser. So there is quite a big difference um, in terms of kind of how they look on your skin. And that's the problem I found with most of the BB creams. The Garnier one, actually, I didn't mention, that was one of the most famous kind of... Um, BB creams that we had over here. I did buy that, I didn't like it and I gave it away because it just didn't do anything for my skin. It didn't give me enough coverage and the finish wasn't very nice. And I always say this, but the finish for me is the most important part of a product if it's kind of foundation related. Something like this um, is kind of an in-between product. This is the Vitage uh, Colour Minerals Natural Daily Perfector. And this is just like a tinted 
perfect so it's a mousse it won't blur everything but it just kind of softens the appearance of your skin and makes it look a little bit nicer so that's something different as well this is more like just a kind of enhancer but the two BB creams that um, I've got here are from kind of more UK brands and I've got the body shop vitamin E cool BB cream which looks like this and this is in shade glowing shade what shade is it I don't know what shade this is, I'm going to have to look that up. But the, this basically is kind of more of a modern BB cream, so not exactly the same as kind of some of the Asian BB creams. And I'm wearing this on my skin today, I'll come a little bit closer so you can see. I don't absolutely adore the finish of this, you can see it hasn't really covered, I didn't really top up with much concealer, but it hasn't covered any of my kind of scars here, didn't cover my pigmentation, the redness on my nose, a little bit on my chin, it didn't really cover anything. Um, and if you've got oily skin, you have to be quite careful with BB creams because they tend to kind of make you quite shiny towards the end of the day, which I do find that this one does. It's a nice product, it's something that I'd probably wear kind of if I just wanted to chew like on a Sunday, even my skin out and I wasn't going anywhere but it's not my absolute favourite. The Jinvara one, as I said, is more of a traditional BB cream. This one is more, it's it's kind of more whitening and it just doesn't sit as nicely on the skin for some reason. The shade of it's very strange. I have had a couple of these types of BB creams as well and I gave them all away to friends because they just didn't sit well on my skin. And then my favourite, favourite BB cream and one that I would wholeheartedly recommend is the Boots Botanics BB Radiant Youth which looks like this. This is a lovely, lovely BB cream. It's got a really good amount of coverage. This is in the shade medium, I believe, but I'm gonna show you right here. Get a bit out. It's got really, really good coverage. The shade's lovely. It's got a nice finish. Just got a little bit on my hand there, and I'm gonna just kind of apply that. And it really does give really nice coverage and kind of evens out your skin tone. If you've got very good skin, it's kind of like wearing, I'd say, a kind of light to medium foundation. And I don't need to top up with much concealer. It's a good um, texture. It's not too runny. It's not bitty. And it just sits on the skin really, really nicely. And this is by every, you know... By all accounts, this is my absolute favourite BB cream. How do you apply BB creams? I always apply them with my hands. I know some people like to do brushes. And whilst I'm kind of an avid user of brushes when it comes to applying my foundation, I don't like to apply um, BB creams with a brush. I just don't really see the point because they're not that dense in coverage anyway and your hands works fine. But that is the only one that I would really 100% recommend. In terms of kind of the skincare benefits that they all promise to have, I don't really think that a product that's only sat on your skin during the day and then washes off at night is going to give that much of um, protection because I don't think your skin is going to be absorbing that much of the goodness from the product into it. But that's just my opinion. I know a lot of kind of experts will disagree about that. But that's kind of my little overview and talk about BB creams. I hope you found this interesting. If some of you have tried some of the um, BB creams that I've mentioned, let me know. And if you've got any that you think are amazing, then let me know as well. But it's just not really a feel that I'm overly interested in um, BB creams for some reason. It's just not something that appeals to me that much. So it's not something that I've kind of given that much thought about. But so many people are asking, and I know a lot of people really do like BB creams. So if you do, definitely go and check out the Botanics one. I love Botanics in general. I think they're a really good brand, actually. But definitely go and check this out. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.